Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this Cursebreaker World event. Now, you do do this event with your guildmates, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you grab any rewards, which has already been completed. This is going to mean you get the uh, token early, the token of strife. This is a spell-based event, so you're going to get 40% spell damage when you get the badge of strife. And ultimately, when you upgrade it to a Medal of Strife, you're going to get a whopping 160% spell damage. So do that. Make sure you get that. At the same time you're here, you may as well grab Tier 1. This is always worth getting in these events. You get a Potion of Enchantment, which means all your troops will start enchanted at the start of each and every battle, which is worth it on its own. But you do get other stuff too, like a more gold, more souls, more sigils, shards, and more besides. So totally worth it for that on its own. Now, once you've grabbed your rewards, make sure you, you um, let me just collect this quick. Orb of Wisdom. Make sure you go back to the beginning and make sure you've got it applied. Make sure you stick in your medal there. There it is, the Badge of Strife. Otherwise, you will not benefit from that extra damage. Right, we've got our Potion of Enchantment. We've grabbed our rewards and got our boost by our medal or badge. So on to the fight. Now the best way to go about this is definitely something like King Mikhail, but I will show some options if you do not have three of him. The reason why he's really good, he does damage to all, which is going to make short work of the opposition, but he explodes a row at the same time. This gives an absolute load of mana back. He also deals nine more damage if he is enraged. And he gets enraged just by picking up some brown, so not hard to get him angry. And gain three to all skills if in first position. So uh, three of them for a definite. But if you don't have three of him or don't have him at all, a good substitute is the Lion Prince. Destroys a row, so gets some mana back at the same time. Then deals a similar amount of damage. Don't rely on that initial amount of damage it's showing you there. Pop someone in the team. Have a look at their stats. And now the benefits have been applied. And all your extras, so you now get 44 damage in my case to the first two enemies boosted by Yellow Gems Destroyed. So that can be pretty good, but just means you have to cast one of them twice. So if you don't have King Mikhail, just chuck a few of them in there instead for a very similar effect. Or if you don't have three King Mikhails, say you've only got two, do two of him and one of the Lion Prince or something like that. Now regarding the weapon, we want something which is going to complement our damage to all effect of our team. Uh, so we'll see what damage to all weapons we have at the same time. And the choice is kind of limited. Uh, the reason I put Dawnbringer there is not everyone's going to have a Dawnbringer, but if you don't have Dawnbringer, I'd go for something like Umbral Tome. Uh, you can't go far wrong with that. It does a, a very similar amount of damage once the Extra benefits have been applied, 46 to all enemies. And you get to use purple as well. So if there's no brown, then you can grab some purple instead. But the rest of the weapons I've got here, none of them are a lot of use. Doomed Axe is pretty good, but you're not going to get to cast it that much because it's going to be at the bottom. So that is the reason why I have gone for Dawnbringer. And it works really well with King Mikhail. The banner is plus two yellow, plus one brown, minus one blue. And we're going to be in knight class for this. And the reasons are we get a handy set of traits. Allied knights gain two life. Gain three attack when an ally dies, which hopefully we won't have to worry about. And to gain two armor every turn is pretty nifty. And the talent trees, we're going to go for stone wall, a leading light, which doesn't actually matter because they're kind of irrelevant. Uh, Vanguard is handy, Dawn's Aura, a Light Storm is yellow, which is going to fill up our team and nice and fast. Armor of Light, Lightbringer, bonus yellow, and Erska Major, gain one attack every turn, which is going to mean our King Mikhail is going to get even more angry and bash even harder, which is absolutely excellent. I've got a Medal of Nysha on at the beginning and a Medal of Arnu for a 20% start, so that combined with our... Uh, what do you call it? Potion of Enchantment means we're going to be ready to go really, really quickly. So what I'll do, I'll show a few battles with this and I'll jump forward a few stages and then show how it progresses as we go along. So we're already on 
five. We're nearly charged already. We've got a light storm going on, which means we get more yellow, which is exactly what we want. One cast of one of these is going to be enough. Doesn't matter which gem you pick, because it actually doesn't matter, because all the while you're wiping out the enemy in one turn, you can just explode anywhere you like. I'll just do the highest level one for now. Get brown, it gets him angry. When those swords go red, that means he's enraged, which means he does extra attack damage. Grab our yellow. Ready to go. Kaboosh. To events the jewels. Her lots of heralds, torpor, woe, damnation. Eh, who should we pick on next? Just the one in the middle. Whoever's nearest. I'm never hell bent on getting, you know, like um most points from these things. I'll just go along with what's there half the time. Put the points there for the people that are interested in that kind of thing, but I'm not too worried myself. Anyway, we'll do. All the while, we're wiping out the enemy in one go. So I'll pause this in a second and then come back on some higher levels. Just show this level here quickly because we have the Archduke and his scoring will be there on the screen at the moment. So let's um, bash him up. Looks really angry, but he's actually going to be a bit of a pushover. Well, that's a handy start. Well, it was. Oh, we got entangled, but that doesn't actually matter because we're not worried about skull damage on this. I'll get brown when we can. <clears throat> Cast one of our troops and then the other. I'll oh, just give Dawnbringer a bit of action. There you go. Victory. Infernal King is here now. We'll just leave this screen here for a few seconds so you can see the scoring. I really like the Infernal King. I think it's actually quite a handy group. I used to use it quite a lot in the early days. Always get brown if you can, but if there's no brown, then whatever you like. Brown makes our bear angry. He's an angry bear. Right, I've jumped forward a few more levels. We're on level 70 now on the Herald of Torpor. It's pretty much the same thing. The only thing you're going to be doing differently is having a tad more patience when collecting maybe an extra lot of yellow, for example. Like we can grab this one here. Yellow or brown. So rather than like a collect or cast um, King Mikhail absolutely straight away, what you can do is grab some extra mana because we can have to cast these more than once. You can then cast one and then cast the other back to back and the job is done rather than having to wait for the other ones to get charged and we've still got Dawnbringer to go as well so the overall damage is high on this when you get the medal so you're doing plus 160% spell damage that's going to be making short work of the opposition and uh, Overall, this is going to be a breeze. Teams with these medals just get stronger as the event goes on. Should we get this one as well? Yes, yeah, get um, some enrage going on. Don't not bother about giving them the spell hit. If we need three casts, by the time these two have cast, the third troop will be ready because of the enchantment. So we can just cast that anywhere. Not bothered about which row we explode. As it turned out, we only needed two casts. So obviously, we get the increased spell damage. Level 40, Infernal King. And the yellow going on. Yep, grab it from the top if you need two lots. You may change it around, but ah, they got lucky and removed it anyway. What the fiddly fudge. Two cast to this. They have somebody come back from the dead. So let's cast that one. 
And Dawnbringer's good as well. You can cast that instead if you like, because obviously with that, you get a, a barrier for all allies. So that is definitely worth doing. Our light storm giving us plenty of yellow throughout. Worth grabbing some brown as well if we can, but if not, who cares? I don't think we need three casts, but I've got a third lot while it was there, in case we do. And we do. Can even give Dawn bring a bit of action just to show that you get barriers for all allies when you do that. Totally worth doing if you have that weapon. It's good to bring it out of the old closet. Like, um, I haven't used Dawnbringer since I crafted it a long time ago. I've never really used it. Definitely good, though. Definitely worked in many teams, so... I'm not saying it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually really, really good. Just other things have happened in the game since then, which have basically... Um, made it not as essential as it was a few years ago, shall we say. Oh, I could have cast Dawnbringer then. Let's give Dawnbringer some action. The Bringer of Dawn. It depends what Dawn looks like, I suppose. She looks alright. Can bring her. So yellow straight away. Might as well get the enraged as well. Take out some skulls at the same time for good measure. They got a summon. So we'll whack them with that once. To finish them off. Lots of shields. Collecting shields as we go along. What happened to his neck? His neck's gone. Uh, any double yellow? Doesn't really matter to be honest. <laughs> Let's get it from there. Kaboosh. Kabosh. Dawn bring, bring a bit of action. Soften them up. Let the third King Mikhail finish them off. Get the whole team involved. Don't want anybody feeling left out. So yeah, this is going to be it. All I would suggest later on maybe is to cast Dawnbringer sooner. As the enemy gets more powerful, this is going to give barrier to all allies. I can show that now. Like now, for example, we can just collect another yellow. We cast Dawnbringer. Does a lot of damage because of the boost and everyone's got a barrier very safe team very easy to use oh i've run out well that's gonna have to do then so there's the team there's the video if you found it useful or helpful be cool if you bash that like and subscribe button but most of all thanks for watching i'll catch you again next time bye for now